track. They line up behind our McCarthy Chevrolet Pace Vehicle. At one scratch, the 22T Tyler Tesh not able to make it out. Row one will be the 4J Jake Richards out of Edwardsville, Kansas. That is the Max Place Pub and Grub. That is also a McCarthy Auto Group sponsored machine. It's alongside the 96 Cody Brill out of Harrisonville, Missouri. Keith Cobb Jr., the 06, the 74, Rodney Schweitzer, 44, Troy Carlisle, the 38, Matt Pugh, the 8, Terry Bruner, the 181, Luke Neiman, that 4R is Raven Justice, the 5, Dakota Foster, and at the back, scheduled is the 222 of Colton Stevens. Looks like we are short a few drivers. 4J, Jake Richards, inside row 1, alongside the 96 of Cody Brill out of Harrisonville. That is the 06 Keith Cobb Jr. inside row number two. 74 Rodney Schweitzer out of KCK outside row two. Troy Carlisle into 44. That's him inside row number three. Scheduled to be alongside Matt Pugh into 38. 10, 11, 15, 14, 16, 12, 2. 22T is the only one missing. And the green flag be made for the... B-Mod's off and running. Eight lap, eight lap. Ten. Ten lap. B-Main. Jake Richards leads this one as they go through one and two. Two-time factory stock champion here at Lakeside Speedway, one of our regular drivers leading this one. Three wide battle for second out of four now. Side by side, the 96. Cody Brill out of Harrisonville, Missouri. Moved into second, the 06 giving chase. That's Keith Cobb Jr. out of Smithville. Cobb falls back a bit on the inside, opens the door for the 74. Rodney Schweitzer out of Kansas City, Kansas. A great battle as they come. Oh, and the 06 is off the pace. Keith Cobb Jr. slow on the high side of the track. That is not good news for the 06 of Keith Cobb Jr. who falls back to the back. 4J Jake Richards leads this one. Little out of shape out of two. That's the eight of Terry Bruner out of Olathe. Bruner trying to stay in the top five. And the 06 has a flat tire. That's Keith Cobb Jr., the infield with a flat tire. Jake Richards continues to lead this one with the 96. Cody Brill running in second. 74 Rodney Schweitzer. Up to third, Richards all the way up to the high side, loses some momentum, opens the door for the 96. Cody Brill out of Harrisonville, a big push and a little bit of spark that time out from underneath the 4J of Richards. Richards opening up the door for Cody Brill. Brill in that 96, Richards much better line that time through three and four. We come around for five laps. 96, Cody Brill continues to run second. Good battle for third, the 44 of Troy Carlisle out of Kearney. And that 74, Rodney Schweitzer, the eight of Bruner, continues to run in fifth. And back on the gas, the 4J at McCarthy Auto Group. 4J, Jake Richards out of Edwardsville, Kansas. One eighty one to Luke Neiman out of Nortonville, Kansas. Watching that great side-by-side -side in front of him as he gains on Bruner in that number eight. Bruner's going to lose fifth to the 74 of Schweitzer. Luke is right there behind him at sixth. Jake Richards in the 4J. 96, Cody Brill. How many advance? How many advance? How many go up? How many go up? Eight. Eight. Top eight will make the A. Top eight automatically make the A. 4J, Jake Richards. 
As they come out of four, Jake Richards wins the B. Top eight automatically move up the 4J. Jake Richards out of Edwardsville, Kansas. The McCarthy Auto Machine wins the B main. In second, the 96. Cody Brill out of Harrisonville in third, the 44. Troy Carlisle in fourth, the 74. Rodney Schweitzer followed by the 181. Luke Neiman, the eight. Terry Bruner, the five of Dakota Foster. And in that eighth and final transfer spot. And here come the USRA Ironman B Mods. Bobby Wooden at 14. There is the 42, the Main Street Auto Body Machine of Gene Claxton. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Row two, Chad Clancy, the 21C alongside the 21, Jacob Blees, the 07, Corey Crapser alongside the 22G, Steve Goodman. Row four, the 99, Brad Smith alongside the 12, uh, Brian Rigsby. 44, Greg Trulove alongside the zero, Richard Lane. Seven plus, Jerry Timmerman alongside the 28S of David Holcomb. Scheduled row seven, Travis Tenpenny, the 112, alongside the red one of Dan Wheeler. Jake Richards, the 4J, moved up from the B, along with the 96 of Cody Brill. Is this our parade lap? I got it. Our parade lap for the Iron Man B Mods. Race fans, let's get on our feet. Hoot and holler. Give a big wave. Wave your favorite car, favorite color, favorite number, favorite driver. Iron Man B Mods. Those drivers waving back at us. They are thanking you for coming out tonight to Lakeside Speedway for the USMTS 3000 to win event and the Iron Man B Mods. And likewise, Terrace Club as the Modifieds roll through one and two. Make sure to give a big wave. Wave your favorite car, favorite color, favorite number, favorite driver. The B Mods ready to do battle. 18 <laughs> 18 lap feature, 18 lap feature, McCarthy Auto Group, McCarthy Auto Group, Chevy Pace Truck is off, we're ready to go racing, Bobby Wood, the 14, Claxton, the 42, in and out of four, foot to the floor, the engines roar, here come the B-Mods. Claxton into 42, starts outside row one, three wide for second, third, and fourth, Oh, spin and turn number two. Ah, Jake Richards and that 4J McCarthy Auto Group, nowhere to go. Ends up making contact with the 44 of True Love. That is the 28 also involved in that. 28S, David Holcomb, I believe. 28 started spinning, 44T went up, and that's 20. Corey Crapser alongside Jacob Lees, the 21. Brad Smith in the 99. The 22G, Steve Goodman. The 7 plus is Jared Timmerman, 7T. And the 0, Richard Lane. Out of 4 once more. The green flag, and we are racing. Corey on the inside at 07. And here comes the 5, able to make it back out. That is Dakota Foster. Gene Claxton into 42, trying to go back to back feature wins. Claxton into 42. The 21C. Uh, is that 21? 21C is Clancy in second. Yes, thank you. 21C, Chad Clancy running in second. Smith in that 99 in third. Good battle of the line. And Corey Crapser in the 07. Battling the 21, Jacob Lees. And a battle up front. And a three wide as they come out of two. Good battles throughout this B main mod of five, pardon me, the A main 
B-Mod feature at the line. That is close. Looks like the 42 of Gene Claxton had him by a bumper, but the 21C Chad Clancy giving Jason a great battle for that one and two spot with the 99 of Smith in third. complete the 42. Gene Claxton started outside row one. The 21 C. Chad Clancy started inside row two. Right now in second, the 99 is Smith started inside row four. He's moved up to third. Good battle for fifth right now in turn number one. That is the 7T of Jared Timmerman. Timmerman and the 07 of Corey Grapser in a great battle. Leaders out of four, the 42 of Claxton. Battle for ninth, 10th, and 11th down the backstretch for Jay, Jake Richards. Trying to put some pressure on that eight of Terry Bruder. Tire on the track. Is that? We got tire on Caution. The track. Oh, Tires on the track in turn number two. Tire is walking its tire. way down to the infield. Tire on the track. Turn number two brings out the caution. Two, Gene Claxton out of Kansas City, Missouri. Side by side behind him with the green flag once again. And here we go! Smith on the high side, the 21C, Chad Clancy. 21S, a little bit of uh, contact with the concrete that time by. Let's see if everybody's able to continue. Good battle for the 4J. Jake Richards has moved his way up through the field. He won the B. And he is now up to seventh as he battles the 07 of Corey Grabser. Great battle. For J. Jake Richards on the high side as they come out of two, three wide. Heads up, heads up, Gene Claxton. There's debris up right in the middle, right there, right there. Caution is out. Debris right in the middle of turn number four. Debris right there in the middle. Right in the middle of turn number four. A little bit of debris. Keep your eye on that for J. Jake Richards, who won to be. Challenging hard, he's making it interesting. That 4J comes from down the street, Edwardsville, Kansas. JT's Bar and Grill, Protec Roofing, Papa Bob's Barbecue. That's also a McCarthy Auto Group sponsored B mod. Jake Richards, no stranger to Victory Lane. Side by side, once again, the green flag. And out of four, the engines roar, the B. Mods with their A main side by side. This time Smith back to the inside. The 42 of Claxton. Not sleeping on it this time. He's hard on that right pedal as the 42 of Claxton trying to stay ahead of the 99. Smith at the line. It is still the 42 of Claxton, but Smith right there with him. Great battle all the way through, side by side. Coming around for lap number 10 of 18. Brad Smith in second. The 21C, Chad Clancy. It'll be Claxton again, the 99. There's the 181, Luke Neiman out of Nortonville, Kansas, 23rd Street Brewery. Taking a scenic tour back onto the track. Comes out in front of your leaders, the 42 of Claxton. And the 99 of Brad Smith. Chad Clancy. Oh, and Smith! Bobbles coming out of turn number two. The 21S, Chad Clancy, will move up to second. Oh, in contact in turn number four. Yellow's out, yellow's out, yellow's out. Yellow is out. Ah, the smoke coming out from behind. 
Okay, well, they're gonna get your spot back. The tonight. Cheetah that Chassis broke. 99. 99 is broke. That's Brad so Smith was, was running hard and was looking good. They'll both get their spot back because the 99 car is broke. Able to fire up that 99 again, but that telltale smoke. That's going to have him back to the infield. Baker's recovery in tow with Seth Chad Clancy, the 21C inside. Row two alongside the 21 of Jacob Lees. And a green flag again, 12 of 18 complete. Little bubble that time by the 07 of Corey Krabser. Able to hold on to it. Terry Bruner in the eight, also a little bobble that time through one and two. And a good battle for sixth right now is the 4J Jake Richards tries to move up around the 74 of Rodney Schweitzer. Good battle at the line, the 07 of Corey Grabser just ahead of the 4J of Jake Richards. Richards now up to sixth in that 4J, moved up after winning the B. And a good battle right now up for third, the 7T of Jared Timmerman. And the 44 of Greg Trulove. Good battle that time by 4 6 with the 07. Pardon me, that's Carlisle in that 44 right now in the fifth. Year later, the 42, Gene Claxton. Whoa. Seven. Little bobble that opened the door for the 4J of Richards. Richards Yellow's trying out, to move up out, to fourth. Caution is out. Caution is out on the front stretch. Dakota Foster in the five. Give me hold on. 15 of 18 laps. Claxton's led them all, but a great charge behind him. The 21s coming on up. The green flag. Lee's on the inside. Lancy on the high side. Battle for second. The 21s. That is the 21. C of Chad Clancy. Clearly in second. Three wide as they come through. Oh, the 70 is broke. 70. That car is off the pace. That will move things around. Carlisle into 44. Gonna finish this race. Gonna White flag this time by for the 42, Gene Claxton. Lancy and Blees running second and third. In fourth at 44, a Troy Carlisle. In fifth, the 4J, Jake Richards. Terry Bruner, the eight. And the 74 of Rodney Schweitzer. Checkered flag, the 42. Leads every lap, but it was not easy. He was challenged by a number of the drivers out there, but able to pull it off with back-to-back -back wins. Your winner, that Main Street Auto Body Machine, the 42 of Gene Claxton. This will be Gene's fifth win in a B-Mod. He has 28 wins in a Grand National, five wins in the A-Mods. He is one of four different drivers to win. Anthony Wyndham to 26 alongside the 29, Nate Barnes, 21V, Vic Tranquino, and the 12 of Scotty Moore. <coughs> Thank you, Gary. Row three, the 55, Sean Foster, the 37, Justin Seifert. Scheduled row four, the 56, Joe Smith Jr., seven to Marshall Jewett. T2, Tom Fogarty, the 46, Philip Holcomb. 21V, Vic Tranquino, and the 12 of Scotty Moore, your heat winners tonight. They start row right, two. Drivers, come into the parade then. Race fans, this will be our parade lap this time by as they're led around by the McCarthy Auto Group. Chevy Pace Truck, this will give us our chance to thank the drivers for coming out. Race fans, as the stars and cars roll out of four, let's get on our feet 
Hoot and holler, give a big wave. Wave to your favorite car, favorite color, favorite number, favorite driver. Here come the factory stocks. Side by side, nose to tail, ready to do battle for 15 laps. They are waving at us. Everybody in the Terrace Club as they go by, wave to your favorite car, favorite color, favorite number, favorite driver, the factory stocks. 15 laps. And look at them over. In and out of three. Coming into four, in and out of four, foot to the floor, engines roar, the green flag flies, and here come the factory stops. Already three wide as they go into turn number one. It is the 29, Nate Barnes leading them out at turn number two, Barnes with Scotty Moore, and the 21V, Vic Tranquino. Little action to the inside, oh, and the 76. Adam Paris at a KCK spins in between three and four. Caution has to come out. There, yellow, he's low in three and four. Yellow. That is the 76. Kansas. Adam Paris out of Kansas City, Kansas. Put to the floor. Out of four once more. The green flag. Here come the factory stops. Nate Barnes started outside row number one out of Garney. Gets loose in two, opens the door for Vic Tranquino. Tranquino in the 21V took advantage of that bobble. Tranquino leads this one. Coming out of turn number four, Barnes in second. The 12 of Scotty Moore, Seaford to 37, the 7 of Marshall Jewett. Round out your top five. The 56, don't count him out, that is Joe Smith Jr. Right now running at six, but challenging for fifth with that seven of Marshall Jewett. Great battle side by side, the 29. Taking the lead on the third lap, the 29 of Nate Barnes out of Carney. Barnes on the inside, Tranquino stays on the high side, drag race to the start finish line. It is still the 29, but Tranquino, right alongside of him, Tranquino, a great line through one and two with the 12 of Scotty Moore in third, watching that side-by-side -side battle. Up to fifth is the 56, great move up for him. That's Smith battling Seifert. And your leader this time by will be the 21V of Vic Tranquino. Tranquino will put Barnes back to second. Scotty Moore in third, battle for fourth. Seifert in the 37 and the 56 of Smith with the seven of Marshall Jewett. Philip Holcomb in the 46, running in sixth. Are you running in seven? Seifert, Smith, 7, and then the 46 of Philip Holcomb. Your leaders coming out of turn number 2, the 21 v Vic Tranquino. Off the pace into the inside. That is the 5. That is the 5N, Dale Newman out of Kansas City, Missouri. Come around for the halfway point. Newman back on the pace. He's back on the track anyway. Oh, and the 12, Scotty Moore is off the pace. Scotty Moore was running in the top five. He falls back right now on the high side. We continue to see if Moore can get that car down to the infield. Your leaders coming out of turn four, the 21. And the 12 of Scotty Moore not able to make it out. So the caution comes out. No, he threw the yellow before they came across our picture. Seven laps complete. Stranger to victory lane. Seven, seven down, seven down. But it has been a while since he's found victory lane. Look at him over as they come in and out of three, in and out of four. Green flag once more. Tranquino leads the factory stock field. Big 
Tranquino being challenged by the 29 of Barnes. Up to third, Joe Smith Jr., last week's feature winner, being challenged. 56 into 55, Sean Foster the 55 on the inside as they come out of four. Foster has Smith in the line, Foster up to third, Smith in fourth, Marshall Jewett at number seven. Seaford into 37, running in sixth. Factory Stocks coming around for lap number 10. <laughs> Trying to separate himself from the field, Vic Tranquino. 10 of 15 complete. Vic Tranquino at 21V. Picked up his last three wins there at Lakeside Speedway back in 2004 in a factory stock. He won four times in 2003. Took a little break, back racing with us. Vic Tranquino in a 21B leads the field with Nate Barnes in a 29. 55 into 56, Foster and Smith continue to battle for third and fourth with Marshall Jewett in fifth. White flag next time by for Vic Tranquino. And the white flag. Vic Tranquino trying to hold off the 29 of Barnes. <coughs> Meanwhile, the seven, Marshall Jewett and Seifert battling for that fifth spot. Less than half a lap to go. Leaders through three and four. It will be the 21V of Vic Tranquino. The 29 of Barnes. Checkers follow, checkers follow. Leader to the front straight. Top four. Vic Tranquino picks up the first win tonight in the A main for the factory stock. Vic Tranquino in that 21 V. Vic Tranquino has seven wins in the factory stock here at Lakeside Speedway. They came back in 2003 and 2004. Took some time off back in Victory Lane at Usri Body Shop Entry. How about a hand for the 21V, Vic Tranquino?